It's done. Um, so then the next deal is let's just look at this solution. Just see what we have here. So here we got the method and the URI. We pulled out the method and the URI. And so and the one after that is the whole kit and caboodle. So if we're pulling out the method and the URI, so we do our, you know, set up our listening and get our connections from incoming requests. And then we launch handle. And then, uh, and then here we're deferring the connection and closing it and we pass in the connection to request and then request comes down here and it uh, scanner and then scans over all the lines and get each text line text and then print out each line and we get if mux if if i is equal to zero we're going to pass in that line to our connection or that we're going to pass in our connection and that line to our mux and if line is equal to nothing, we're going to break out of that. And so our mux here gets the connection. And we're going to find out our method and our URI. And then here's our multiplexer. And so if our method is get and our, our URI is this, then we'll run this code. And if our URI is this, then we'll run this code. And if our URI is this, we'll run this code. And if our URI, it, this is like we're creating the routes for when a request comes in for a certain page, then run some code to do a response. What does that stuff do? Well, here's the code for index, right? And so we write our status line, we write some headers, and then we write the body. And we do that for all of them. So when we run this, we have a, a website running. Shut this one down. And then CD205. Now granted, all right, it's not the most fascinating <laughs> website, but we have a server handling request built to the TCP level. It's HTTP running on top of TCP. And uh, that's all just kind of like giving you some insight into what's happening behind the scenes. A little bit about how servers and clients work, a little bit about RFC 7230 and the Internet Engineering Task Force, right? And how every request from a client has a request line, headers, and then an optional body. And that request line is built to certain engineering specifications. And that request line is going to have it's going to have the method, the URI, and then also the protocol, the HTTP version. And then the response is going to have a status line, headers, and, and uh, the message body. Right? And so we saw all that, and then we created it. It's pretty sweet. So what we're going to see next week uh, will be, you know, that, all right, all that's nice, but to get something to run, we just have to do what we saw already with um, with this, right? So we're going to use listen and serve, <laughs> right? And like behind the scenes with listen and serve is everything that we were just talking about. So listen and serve. Launches a server. The server is like all this stuff. I don't know, it's, it's involved back here, but. Like, I bet if we looked on here for TCP.
right? Here we've got net listen and the address, and then defer listener close. It's like, okay. And obviously they have a lot more complexity happening there, but we learned kind of what's happening in the background.